guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And what a washout today I've been. That's why I sat on the sofa. Well, I don't saw you some clips of the Blackpool Sea. And as you can tell, the waves and the winds is back again. Oh, we don't have a hub, that other storm. You don't expect it in August, surely. But there have been two events being cancelled today. You got the lifeboat opening day being moved onto the 31st. And also the Elvis one Stanley Park. What a shame. Me and the Blackpool lad who sat right outside of me were done to do that one. So we'll need to keep a lookout to see when it on next. But I thought, why do we not treat ourselves a little bit today? The weather horrible, but it all means it all need to be gloom and doom. The desserts that I saw you done to make your mouth water. Yeah, so I mean, it's a shame about the events. We didn't get a bit of a glimpse of the uh, the car show, so it started at ten o'clock, and yourself and my myself, we got a bit of a glimpse. But then the weather just turned ugly and horrible. The R and L was cancelled, like Jason was saying, and uh, it's com it been a complete washout. The winds are getting up, the tide is most likely going over the promenade again. So uh, yeah, we thought we'd indulge in the uh, sticky chocolate shop again. So we grabbed something for, but we've got a few more selections just to show you uh, how gorgeous they are. If you haven't tried it, have a look at this video and Daisy's going to do a bit of a bit of review uh, and get yourself down there. So I went into the shop, it'd been open for eight years and they've got two stores. They've got one in Liven and one in Blackpool and everything all freshly made on the day. So I went in and I asked them for the three best sellers. So, these the three we got given. First one is um, a chocolate brownie. So, we'll give that one a try first. They do look tempting, don't they? Oh, thanks. And the beano is it eight years. And they actually are just reading on the, on the website as well. They even do um, deliveries for Christmas. So, uh, yeah, amazing. Oh. Um, no, it's really nice and mm. soft. I'll say it's a good one inch thick. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Not too much chocolate on the top, but not too less. When you bite into it, mm. it all crumbles. Mmm. So, that was good, quite nice. A bit of ice cream or custard as well. Oh, with a nice cup of coffee. Mmm. So, the next one is at all the old cookie, I'll say. Yeah. What do you say? And we did ask, um, we did ask them, are these hard or soft? Instead, they're actually nice and soft, which is fantastic. A lot of people get cookies and they're really hard and you know they can damage your teeth. But these are uh, really nice and soft, which is uh, which is great. So yeah, I'll try a bit of a try a bit of this one. As you probably could tell, I was just breaking into it so easy compared to trying to do full blown break it. I've been there plenty of times before where I have the cookie, went to snap it in half, but it ends up like... Mmm. <laughs> mm. And you can certainly tell all the, um, all the flavours, you get that nice aftertaste in mm. your mouth as well, which is great. I mean, again, this is actually half an inch thick. Really nice. Mmm. You oh, yeah. Are. So, this looks like we got the chocolate Nutella. Little uh, little mice with tails, you know, with the straw tails. Who remembers those? That's how uh, amazing the shop is. Let's have, a, let's have a go at this one. Yeah, not a chocolate Nutella, by the way. Mm. A bit more of a crunch to this one. Mmm, down the edges. Mmm, mmm. Well, sometimes you don't mind that bit of crunch. No. At least it ain't crunchy in the middle. I do like a soft cookie in the middle. Mm. And again, you know, it's got to be half an inch thick, that. Mm. It's really nice. I couldn't help myself but get three of the top selling fudges. Let's get them out of the bag and have a look at the fudges. Mm, I think I'll let you have a try these. I'm still eating this cookie. You give me a piece. Look at uh, that. I'm not too sure which one all this a Terry chocolate look like. Mmm. What do you say? Oh yeah, show the camera. Look at that. Mmm. 
And just look at the thickness. Not even. Just look at the thickness on that. And that's got to be an inch and a half thick. And you can mix and match anything in the shop like this. So you wanted a cookie on one of these, you can. Or you can have like two of these and um, a brownie. And that's the good thing about this shop. They don't limit, it. They don't limit you to what you can actually order. I'll let you try that one because I'll order. I'm going to have a bite into that, see what you think of that one. This is a bit more sticky, yeah? Like, it is well held together. Look at that. Because you're not lonely into what we enjoy it. Mm. What are your thoughts? It's nice, but this one ain't for me. Try a bit. I'll just try. I'll just try a, a small thing. Look at that eyes. I tell you what, that's that's a heavy old thing, then. You 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 can take you can taste the orange, but um, that one ain't for me. That's just for my personal preference for the flavouring. Nothing to do with the mm. fudge itself. Mm. It's nice flavouring. You got that nice aftertaste as well. Mm. Well, mm. you can't get enough, can't you? Well, it's not too bad, but mm. yeah, again, it is the same thickness. Mm. Well, you have a. See, I'm not really keen on that much on the fudge side of things. To be fair, well, I wonder why. I don't know. I never really. But that is actually quite nice. That. Mm. That'll go. Yeah, it reminds me of a cheesecake a bit actually, but the aftertaste it reminds me of. A bit of a cheesecake, but I do like a cheesecake sauce, so I won't be complaining. And last but not least... I don't know, it's another bit of a mystery one really, isn't it? Um, no, you don't do, you don't do in milk. You like an Oreo? Yeah, that's the one I'm looking an for. You can see it at the top. There you go, guys. You can see the Oreo at the top. Same amount of thickness, but this one seems to be heavier. Just so they don't charge you by the weight. No. You want to try a bit of this no, one? No, I'll let you carry on with the with the tasting. <laughs> Jeez, looks a bit hard, that one. Yeah, this one is a bit harder, guys. So, you don't like anything but quite hard. I'll probably keep away from that. I think, to be, to be fair, I think the, uh, the fudge was mine. Um, but like I said before, a nice bit of, a bit of hot custard or a bit of clotted ice mm. cream. I'll just, uh, you know, sort of just do it. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, again, just for the flavouring. Um, but if everyone got different taste buds. Not all what I'm going to say. Mm. It cooked nicely throughout. They you were know, nice. I um, think it's just the flavouring for me with that one. Nothing wrong with the fudge itself. But yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the flavouring. I just can't believe the price on these. Um, just comment down below and don't cheat. How much do you think three of these will cost you? I think we've already told them. <laughs> I think we've already told them the price. That's why I said he's, he's, he's quite expensive, but he's quite a good value for money. Did we? I think, well, I think I did. I think I opened my big mouth. And if you said three for £10, you are correct. You can mix and match any cookies or fudge three for £10. Hope you enjoyed the, this uh, this review, and it's very good of you to, uh, to treat me as well. Right then, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can be the first one to watch a new video. Take care. I hope you all have a good week. Take Bye care, for guys. now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.